isn't just about money. Manifestation is always is also about things like um, you know relationships, getting a job, a career that you love, all of those types of things come into play as well. So we're talking today a little bit about money mindsets. We just launched a brand new five week program called the 5D Money Makeover, talking about healing money issues and money stories and so we do a lot of law of attraction work um we're not gonna lie we we love you know keeping a positive you know mind and always thinking forward but what we found over the years has been this and that is that sometimes for a lot of people and a lot of my clients there are things like trauma or really big childhood issues that circle around money and those things kind of get stuck in their energy fields and what happens with that is as you grow right you're like in adulthood now you've been carrying around these beliefs with you from childhood and then we get to adulthood and we're like oh you know what i want to manifest this that or the other thing or i want to create this that or the other thing and you know we can't figure out why and then people will tell us well you, you know you got to think positive and you know always feel like it's coming you have to think it, you got to feel it you got to believe it but if you have trauma around that if you have trauma around money that's a really big boulder in your field to try and push up that positivity hill if you will and what we've we've discovered is by addressing the trauma and by addressing the energetic blocks and clearing them out of your energy well now you're not pushing up a boulder of positive you know affirmations or statements now it's like it doesn't even affect you anymore it's like that trauma has been released and your brain almost has been like freed in order to be able to open that flow and now the things that you wanted such as manifestations at job or career actually have the space to come through and so that's what we're working on over the next month with some of our clients in our 5d money makeover is making over your mindset clearing those beliefs that keep you held back finding those areas of trauma that might be still circling right in order to be able to free get that get that shit out of your field so that you can actually have the things that you want so hello hello oh, we've got some people here hello it looks like acid acid so you guys are really far away this time and my glasses don't see really well it looks like acid moth or mon hello she says i love you girl i love you and I have some friends who say hello, social, I can't read the other piece, hello. And uh, the flower flows, I think, this flower flows is very true. Uh, so welcome, ladies, welcome. So yeah, so we've been, I've been looking at money for a really long time. And the truth is, is that <sighs> law of attraction shit wasn't working for me. <laughs> I mean, I'm just going to put it out there. It just wasn't working for me and I couldn't figure out why. Right. And you have to understand, I come from a place where I actually channeled uh, the consciousness of Abraham and they walked me through the whole process and they helped me out, which was great. But then what happened was it, it um, what, what I call rubber band back. It wasn't sustainable. I wasn't able to keep into the path of least resistance or the flow of what whatever they call it, right? Because I kept having trauma or or I had a trauma around money, right? That kept pulling me back, right? So just to give you an example, you know, my my parents were they made they made some money back in the day, but they were very thrifty and they were very frugal. My father was a hoarder. Um so I grew up in a house where you didn't spend a lot of money and it was like, you know, everything was looked at and you know you you grow up in this in this type of atmosphere and you take on your, your parents money beliefs when you first come out onto the planet you're like ta-da i'm here and then it's like how do i navigate this world and you watch your parents and you watch everybody around you and you start to establish beliefs at a very young age about 
life about how the world works and especially around money right you know if you could think about it think about it right now when you were growing up what were some of the things that your parents said about money that you find yourself saying today right like one of the things that um my parents used to do was money doesn't grow on trees well technically it does but i mean like you know money money is you know only for the rich and powerful or you know it's not for us it's for other people i mean like all of these beliefs even though you know they're like mainstream sayings have an energy to them and when you start saying them over and over to yourself now you create a block and then when you say it to yourself over and over again since you were a child well now you have 40 years of blocks that you have to unravel and would law of attraction unravel that 40 years of blockages yeah in about 10 years i mean it's a lot of mental work of always having to think 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 right whereas we come from that other approach of energy work and if we're able to find the block and then dissolve it clear it and heal it well then it doesn't circle around in your head anymore it's like it doesn't exist and then now your energy is so free that you can now program it with all the positive things that law of attraction tells you to do and it's easier it's you're more successful at it because you don't have all that negative talk trying to bean you down and then you do start to manifest things which is like super exciting i remember when my um one of my clients first signed up for another uh, money money program we did and the moment she signed up she's like i have the intention i want to ship we're gonna do it and she's like ding i hit the paypal button and then within 20 seconds i booked a client for ten thousand dollars i mean like crazy shit like that happens when you look at the energetic pieces of it all um spiritual goddess woman so i had to put my hands here so i can read your names do you do life coaching yes so i do life coaching and business coaching well i do life coaching and business coaching for coaches and healers um basically what we do is we work on moving your mind and your energy out of your own way so you can start living and creating the life that you really want right whatever is in your way around business whatever is in your way around life you know um people we would do a lot of with um reconnecting people to their own inner beings we do a lot of healing work we do a lot of trauma release work um we do a lot of clearing we do a lot of clearing um in order to be able to help you open up and be more expansive and connected with your own inner being so we do do a lot of that we do a lot of um we do one-on-one -on -one coaching that is kind of like premium packaging but for the most part um we do lots of teaching programs so like right now we have a 5d money makeover program that we just launched and that is kind of like my hybrid of life and business coaching because or rather it's healing really it it's designed to help you uncover what is holding you back and then heal it so we're te Ooh, i just got chills we're teaching people how to do this on your own right because yeah you can hire me and i would love to work with you <laughs> so you, you could hire me anytime but um wouldn't it be more productive and more of an investment in yourself if i actually taught you how to do it so that once you are, are package ended you could actually continue to use the tools afterwards right so that's that's really kind of like where we come from it's like yeah we could do it but if we empower you to do it you could take that forever and you would have a tool throughout your entire life that you can use and that's what we we do we're doing rather with um our 5d money makeover is we're teaching people how to find those blocks especially the ones from childhood that are playing out right now that are still affecting you in the now how to find those blocks and then how to release them how can we do that right i think the biggest thing we come across if you're not a healer or you're not a coach right or you're not in like energy work or anything i think the biggest problem most people have is initially finding the block like 
what is my block, right? And is, you, you tell me, I mean, like when you think about blockages, do you feel like, you know, you know exactly what's blocking you? Do you, re do you really have an idea of what in childhood you decided as a kid was going to play around in your head? Usually we don't, right? And then it's hard sometimes to find what that block is, but because we work with energy, or I work with energy, it's very easy for me to help people find their blockages. Sometimes I'll get people, just to give you an idea, sometimes I'll get people on the line and they'll be like, I don't know what's blocking me. This is going on and then I'll just get them to talk about it. And then I'll hear, this is kind of like how I work, right? I'll hear in my head or they'll write it to me. It's, you know, it goes either way. You can either write it or hear it. This is her block. Just like that, like that's how easy it comes up like this is her block and I'll say okay I'm hearing this is this your block oh yeah that's definitely it right so finding the blocks that hold you back right without investing a lot of energy in it so that you create more blocks because that is the key right you just want to find it and go right find it clear it let it go and then you can use your law of attraction, um, you know, mantras and positive affirmations and everything like that in order to keep you going. But for from my experience with my clients, it's like, find it. Let's find it first, right? Because I think the problem with me, especially with my experience, is that um, is is that I knew I had blocks, but I didn't know what they were. Can I tell you how frustrating that is? when you know that you have something that is just not working for you and you don't know why it's not working out. And you, you know, instead of sitting there for three hours trying to figure out what it is, right? Because that in and of itself will create more blocks, right? It's just so much easier to find either someone or a program that will show you, look, here, this is how you do it. Sit down, this is how you do it, we're gonna show you. Um, spirit, spirit, something, woman. Yes, I need that. I definitely have a block. Do you have a website? Yes. Uh, so link is in our bio. Um, the program we're talking about is five, the 5D Money Makeover, but we do take applications for coaching and mentoring. We do have two spots available in March. So two of my clients are going to fade out because they're finished. Uh, they, they did like multiple rounds with me, so they're going to take a break and then we will have two spots open for that. Or you can join the 5D Money Makeover. And for anybody who joins us for coaching and mentoring um, in any of our programs, they get the 5D Money Makeover for free. So definitely reach out and uh, check that out and see if that's something you're interested in. So tell me, you guys, where are you guys stuck? in anywhere in your mindset like is there anything that that you've been stuck with or like does any of this make sense because i'm a big big thing i have to understand like this is really for me to come out and be like yeah we we need to do healing around money after i've been teaching law of attraction for many many years it's kind of like you know law of attraction would say no you don't really need to do that um but what I found is when we do combine the healing with the law of attraction work, my experience, just my experience, don't come at me, <laughs> has been that it actually moves faster. The work for the law of attraction becomes easier, it becomes faster, and you're not circling negative thoughts as often in your head anymore because you're managing your energy. You're coming up with the pieces that are blocking you and you're recognizing them like, oh my gosh, yeah, I remember saying that when I was six. Holy crap, I can't believe it's still working this way. I can't believe it's still in my fields. Let's clear it, let's hear it, heal it, poof, right? They go away, it's healed. You're lighter, you're brighter, you feel more positive. So that makes all the law of attraction stuff to follow easier. Now it's easier because you're not fighting yourself, right? Mindset, mindset is, is mindset or a bunch of stories 
that we create or I don't want to say we create because in that means we just like make it up, right? We don't make it up and we just don't make up stories. We decide what things are based on our experiences, right? So if I walk across the street and I get hit by a car, then I develop a belief that every time I walk across the street, I'm going to get hit by a car, right? That's the story we tell. Is that story necessarily true? No, that's just my experience, right? So if somebody walks next to me and says, well, I'm going to walk across the street and I'm not going to get hit by a car, watch. Okay, she does, and that's great. And then I try and be, oh, okay, well, she didn't get hit by a car, so I'm not going to hit by a car, so I'm going to walk across the street. But I still get hit by a car, right? And you're standing in the middle of the street going, why? I don't get it. Why do I constantly get hit by a car? It's because the first time when you got hit by a car, you created a belief system, which is every time I cross the street, I get hit by a car. And then when you keep thinking it and you keep reinforcing it and you keep saying it over and over again, and it keeps happening to you because you're still cycling in it, then the belief has no other option other than to prove you true. So when that other person comes across the street and she makes it to the other side and you get pissed going, well, why did she make it across the street? Well, she doesn't have that belief system that every time you cross the street, you get hit by a car. That wasn't her experience. So what do we do about that, right? Because here you are on the other side of the street. You're never getting to the other side of the street because you have the belief system that you're going to get hit by a car. And every time you've tried, that's happened. The universe is proving to you that it's true, right? So you're just getting whacked all the time. So now it becomes a trauma because every time you do it, you keep getting hurt, right? So how do you resolve that? And from my experience, right, everything is working out for me doesn't work for me in those situations, right? Everything is working out for me. Everything is working out for me. And you get in the street, you still get hit by a car. So those are the people who I'm reaching out today to let you know that I totally get it. I totally get the fact that every time you cross the street, you get hit by a car. I also identify and get the fact that there are other people who can cross the street and never get hit by a car. And there's nothing wrong with what you're doing. You're not wrong. You're not thinking wrong. You're not doing anything wrong. It's just the belief system that you have, right? And if we go in there and we look at it, we find it, we clear it, and we heal it, then guess what happens? You get to cross the street without getting hit by a car, right? And so when you get there, then you can start going, whoo, everything is working out for me. Look at that. I crossed the street and I didn't get hit by a car. Everything is working out for me, right? So the two together, the law of attraction and the energy healing work, the two together, again, from my experience, helps things accelerate faster. Because if you're still standing on the other side of the road and thinking, you know, building up the courage each day to believe that when you step into that road, you're not going to get hit by a car because somebody else who can cross the street without getting hit by a car is standing beside you going you can do it you can do it you can do it even in those situations you know what happens sometimes you still get hit by a car right because we don't all have the same belief systems i don't think the way you do you don't think the way i do and that's because we've had different experiences we grew up differently We've grown up in different races, cultures, religions, actually opposite sides of the world, right? We've all had different experiences. So our beliefs are all different. And some of them are what we call false beliefs. And a false belief is like, for example, every time I step into the road, I'm going to get hit by a car, right? Self-prophesizing, if you will. Um, and those beliefs, when it comes to money, oh my gosh, they could be so frustrating, so frustrating. And especially since you're, if you're a person in business, right? So if you're a person in business and you're still holding on to some of these false beliefs, 
it's like banging yourself on the head with a hammer. It's, it's just beating yourself up. So that's why we created a program to help people cross the street <laughs> without getting hit by a car. <laughs> that's what our 5D money makeover is about. It is a money healing program to, to really help you I, not only just cross the street, but to identify what it is that you're telling yourself as to why every time you cross the street, you get hit by a car. Why is that? Right? We're going to take you back. We're going to look at childhood stuff. We're going to look at adolescent stuff. We're going to look at everything, right? Because that's what belief systems are. Belief systems are just reoccurring, reinforced thoughts that you create over and over in your head, right? And make them true. That's why they're so easy to clear. That's why they're so easy to heal because they're not true. We'll still hear a couple hands. Hello, hello. Uh, does anybody have any questions? I just wanted to pop in and just be like, you know, you're not doing anything wrong, right? You're, it's, not, it's not anybody's fault. You're not doing it wrong, right? It's not not happening for you because you're a bad person. That's another belief system. Nothing's not happening for you because you're not deserving, you're not worthy, you're not valued. That's all horse shit. It's just blockage. It's just blockages. It's blockages and reoccurring false beliefs. But here's the thing, you guys. They can be cleared and they can be healed and they can go away and you can cross the street with great success. We've been teaching people how to manifest money for years. All of our programs really work because it is that beautiful combination of law of attraction work and energy work that helps people hurry. It's not a hurry, but helps people uh, move through it quicker, right? Because if I can release the block, then I don't have to work the block, right? So in law of attraction, we work the block. We work it by changing our perception and start thinking in a different way. But it's like that block is still here. So every now and then when you drop your guard, it comes up. And then the work is to redo it. Well, what if I tell you that you don't have to do it that way? What if I tell you that it can be here, we can find it, and we can make it go away? So that all this work in the law of attraction zone that you're doing, you can continue to do and continue to use your high vibes and not have to keep um, coming back to this side to keep to keep regurgitating the same ideas, right? So what I found is law of attraction works, definitely works, but it takes a while. It takes a lot longer than I'm patient for. And so when I do my work and I teach my folks how to do the work, we like to do it quicker. That's all. We have a quicker way of doing things. We want it out. I don't want to sit here and struggle with my thoughts. Right? Because when I'm feeling like I'm, you know, down, I'm depressed or I'm anxious, you know, I don't want to have to think that I'm doing something wrong, right? Or that I'm feeling wrong or being able to flip that thought on a dime, right? Sometimes it's not that easy. And what we're saying is, no, we get it. We get it. It's not that easy because it's here. We've seen it, right? But we can heal it. We can heal it so the next time that it comes, if it does, sometimes we clear stuff out like automatically, but sometimes if it comes, it's not as strong. It's not as potent, it's not dragging you down under the surf, you know, while you're tumbling under the ocean. You're still able to swim. You're still able to have control over your feelings and your thoughts, and you're still able to get back up on that horse and start moving in the opposite direction. So. That's what I came here to kind of share with you all today. Um...